Wake up in the morning and get out of bed Brush my teeth, put a hat on my head Turn on my radio and what do I see? A new podcast, Man Cave Diaries No girls allowed, it's just three men Sit and talk about everyday events You might agree, you might have a cow But nevertheless, I'll introduce him now Darth Quark's all about Star Wars Mongolicious singing songs and drinking some cores Rapping and some lingo is making shrimps flee On the new podcast, Man Cave Diaries Oh yeah Welcome to the Man Cave! My hey. name, I am Darth Quag. To my right, Rob Nesselinga. And back! Back! Better than ever! Ah! Uh, uh, delicious. So nutritious. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Now, we have been gone for quite a bit. We have actually haven't had um, an actual show with the three of us back on it for quite some time. Um, we've had stand-ins, we've had special guests, not even necessarily stand-ins, I'd like to get those people back so we can do like a massive show. Yeah. You know what I mean? With like, the everyone, the, the main cat, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we'd have to do. Um, but I, before we start, I do want to give a big shout out to Jim for standing in for Manga while he was on tour. Thanks, Jim. Uh, Jim did a great job. It was fun to have you. Hopefully, we can have you again. He was supposed to be on here tonight. He had some plans, family plans, so exactly, yeah, we don't want to take away from... Nothing family wrong time. with that. Speaking of family time. Yes. What you actually get to have family time. I have family like time. Like in media family time, not like parents. Yeah, I'm going to go hang family. out with my dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's awesome hanging out with my dad. I'm not no bashing on my dad. <laughs> but no, um, uh, I know you touched on it on the last show um, a little bit with what was kind of going on. But now I actually get to say it. I am a dad. I have my daughter. Her name is Harley Reese. 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 Huh? Oh, like Reese? No, no, no Reese like the candy. Like, <laughs> like Reese's, Reese's Pieces? Nice. Yeah. That, that, I made so, sure I spelled it that ooh, way. Piece of candy. Honestly, <laughs> congratulations on that. Big Thank steps. You. You'll okay. be a great father, my man. You I hope so. <laughs> Get your hat. Well, I got the dad hat. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm wearing it, because I'm officially a dad. I'm allowed to wear this stupid stuff. So, <laughs> congrats. Thank that's you. Nice Shot top beer of the night. Oh, by far. Shock Top. Ooh. This is the original Shock Top. Like, that's their original yeah. Yeah. blend, not okay. like. They have a lot of different things going on now. They have Apple. I that Apple is apple delicious. One. I had the I'm Apple. Sorry, we had that. Apple for an episode. That's just delicious. <laughs> have you had Angry Orchard? Talking about the Yes. Yet. I yes. Oh, no, no. Angry Orchard? I did. Cider, by far. The crisp. What about that new Angry one? That, that red apple ale? Red's all right. Red's all right. You mean Woodchuck? No, no, no. no. They have red apple ale. It's literally like a red apple, red label. It's pretty good. They have the commercials where people get hit in the head with an apple. Like, what do you want to drink? Uh, smack. (laughs) I'll have a red (laughs) apple ale. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, the Angry Orchard is the shit. Good. It is so tasty. Anyways, enough about alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alcohol is probably how I got to... uh, (laughs) Well, no, I got my baby daughter... Isn't that how it always happens? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Alcohol is the answer to everything. She was a big baby, 9 pounds, 13 ounces. She's a toddler. She basically... 23 inches. She came out as a toddler. Yeah, she she came out as a a 2-year-old. She's signing up for kindergarten next week. Yep. She (laughs) does have a big cranium. No, she does. <laughs> but Baby, Daddy she has a yeah, yeah, so it's not like where you get some apple. <laughs> apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Hey, <laughs> tied it all in, <laughs> tied it all back together. That's how we Full do it. Full circle here. here. But, um, <laughs> That's how we do it. Other than that, um, like I, we've done the free comic book day. We got that in there real quick. That's uh, huge, man. I'm sorry I couldn't be a part of that. Oh, it's no big uh, deal. It was fun. It, it was fun. Was I mean, it people. was so crowded. Yeah, dude, it was literally like you would have stood there like this the entire it's time. It's probably better that I wasn't there because you'd probably see me on camera and be like, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I need to get out of here! <laughs> well, that's why we ended up filming outside because yeah. it was so yeah, packed that we I had to step that. away. But no, it was, it was fun. It was a lot of people. Good turnout and stuff. Um... But no, I haven't done too much. Uh, keeping it real easy. I will touch on this. Talk about nerd level just went through the roof, at least on the couch. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we step it up a notch. See what happens when you leave? Yeah, see, when Mondo yeah. leaves, we lose all... The coolness just... Coolness. It just, just the window, like, goes away. The steam off a <laughs> smelly apple pie. Exactly. Yes. Just, just crawls away. On a windowsill with, <laughs> with old Aunt May's, the one that puts it out, and the steam... <laughs> Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, towards it. Yeah. <laughs> like, input picture of bear right here. <laughs> you did. You did that. What do we want? A We're bear. Gonna, a bear picture. Oh, okay. good God. So you're going to have an apple over here. here. And then you're going to have a bear. Sir. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Not even have to walk. Just, uh, just sit <laughs> float. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, um. I'm a side railing train. I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. Good. That's what the show's all about. I think we I'm pretty sure both of you do, so it makes sense to do this because we talk about so much random stuff. But anyway, <laughs> me and Ravenous Flamingo over here started playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I even laughed saying it because it's totally nerdy. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but it was not when you said it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's the best. One of the best card games I've ever, or the only card game I've ever played, but it's yeah. so. I, I am so sorry for all the people I've bashed in my past about doing this stuff. This reparations, yes. huh? I feel so guilty for making fun of you for playing Magic. I personally apologize. I'm hooked. You know, the strategy that goes into it's amazing. The art on the cards is awesome. Um, and it's as soon as you fun. here's the thing is when you get past the take it away from face value is that. You look at it, and you see the people playing it, and you're going, man, what nerds. And then all of a sudden, you start to read it and get into it. You're going, it's not that bad, yeah. actually. Yeah. Because um, it, it, think of it like chess mixed with poker yep. mixed with magic. That's yes. all in a nutshell. Yes. I mean... Because it's a strategy-based game. Well, we don't have to play, explain the I'm game. I'm just it's saying just, it's I'm just... I'm sure half the people that watch this, if anybody watches this, half the people that watch this know that we're nerds anyway. <laughs> and know what magic we is. Just, we just step it up enough. Exactly. But we just jumped in, literally jumped in feet first, and are taking off. Me and him played each other for the first time. I won. Oh. I won. Not gonna lie, I pulled good. out, pulled it out of my butt. <laughs> oh, but, uh, that's what she said. Oh, oh. <laughs> Michael's <Scott>. But uh, <laughs> trademark. <laughs> Stamp. <laughs> but no, but uh, that has pretty much been it for me. Just uh, hanging out with the baby, hanging out with Casty, uh, working my ass off to make sure that I got bill money. And I can afford to put dinner on the table. I don't even care about breakfast or lunch. Just make sure there's dinner. I just want one meal. Exactly. One meal. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, happy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Please watch. Please watch. It. Anyway, um, any, any, any enough about enough about this guy with I'll the killer with, hat. With the killer hat, you'll see me wear this hat every episode from now on. By the way, oh, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. It's, it's the happens. fedora, dude. I love this hat. <laughs> this hat is a part of me. I would say this hat is equal to my foot. I was so gonna say you, my penis, <laughs> but. I would have gone with phone, maybe an accessory to you, but... No, 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 it's a part of me. Oh, so it's who you are now. It's who I am now. My dad you, says I look like I'm a crazy Cuban, but I'm Italian. <laughs> I've been called Cuban a time yeah. or two. I like Cubans. And Cubans are nice. Especially like the sons. <laughs> See? I heard the cars are nice. Food? Can't move and get You're talking about food? Yeah, they can't get we can't get any anymore. anymore. They have to work on them. So why would loosely, loosely tie to the card game thing? Real quick, have you guys played? I recently played this since the last time I talked to you guys. Okay. The card game Pit. No. It's like straight it? from the seventies. Like. Like war. I played it with my girl's uh, family. And, like it, it was dug out, you know, dusted off Pit. It was. Um, it's a game like stockbrokers. It's like a stockbroker game. Oh, that's like, cool. You have different like. Uh, so Monopoly. <laughs> you, have different, you have different materials on cards. Like you, everyone gets like nine cards, I think. You ring a bell when you're ready, and you want to gather all nine cards. Is that one material like wheat, corn, rye, what have you? You know. Yeah, you have to trade and, for and it, then, right? Yeah, and then you're like two. I got three. I got three. You know, and then you go into every one of the, and then you know you put your cards down when someone who says, you know, I'll take three. Dude, it is a fun game. But see, that's kind of like... It's what, kind of fast paced. That's, that's what you had. It's very fast paced. Wow. I no, felt like I was intense. a stockbroker or something. I'm going to those hats with the green hat. Lights coming through. You need the green hat and the, green hat and the visor. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but we should play that one time. I just wanted to sure. bring it up. It's it's a fun game. Uh, we'd have a good time. No, but see, that's the kind of thing I think we should do next on the show is actually film... 
us playing now I understand playing online and stuff you can just record what you what you see but no like when we play magic or like if you bring the game over yeah. we can actually record a match of us yeah. playing and then we can just post the shit and so people can see what it's all about yeah. and then they're gonna yell at us for doing it wrong hey that's fine <laughs> that's fine I'm not perfect and I know I'm probably pl- uh, playing magic wrong um, but it's pretty close to what we've seen online so I don't think there's any problems yeah. But no, if anyone can critique us, please do. I'll fix it in a second. And hate is gonna hate. Man. Hate is gonna hate. <laughs> hate, is gonna hate. I love haters. Hate. Haters make me feel better. <laughs> um, anyway, Rav, what have you been doing? What's up with uh, you? Since you've told everyone what we were doing, what, yes. is, what, what have you been doing? Well, uh, recently, uh, I know you, we, I've been talking about like my pool team that I play on every uh, Monday nights and also on Tuesday nights, but uh, this refers to Monday. Uh, we had our regional championship uh, tournament a couple weeks ago and took it by storm. We actually, there's a, we, we're about in four, uh, six matches, I think it was, 16 matches, so four or five people play at, you know, per match. And uh, we just took it, like I said, by storm. We won every single time. We didn't, it was a double elimination. But we didn't even go down the loser's bracket. We just king of the hill. Pretty you sweeped much. it all the way through. Yes, nice. and it was very exciting. A lot of memories were made. Um, I will say one thing. I'm going to cut you off for quick. I'm just going to say one thing. Karma's a bitch. Uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if, if you know what I'm talking about, then you're probably the bitch. But anyway, anyway carry on. Carry Appreciate on. But uh, one of the guys on the team uh, actually was very... Uh, him and his girl were uh, there... And he's actually the captain of the team, and uh, he has gotten so close to going to Vegas. He just never had a team that would back him up real well, and he's only made as far as semifinals. So when he won the trip to Vegas, actually it was very touching for him because none, his family is in Vegas. Did he cry? Yeah. Yeah. Because none of his family has seen his newborn at oh, all, okay. or any of his family. So this is his opportunity to... Because uh, obviously he's on limited budget to go on somebody else's dime for them to see their family and to, awesome. you know to That's see the cool. expansion. So they were very, uh, very touched by it, and it was it's a good experience. And hopefully we can sweep it in Vegas too. But how Take do you feel about it? You feel nervous? Uh, it's I mean, the yeah. competitiveness should be. Um, I'm bar getting, should I, be getting raised well, for this. I'm trying to put myself in more tournaments, more, you know, higher stakes kind of thing to get over that nervousness. Because when you're down and it's the last shot and you're just sitting there and you're shaking. Yeah, you get the shake. Oh, you, you cannot shoot yeah. a ball straight no matter what you try. The one, the one thing of advice I can give you, especially when it's it's in that moment like mm-hmm. that, it's mind over matter. It's, it is. What the hell? It, it's one of those things when you got to take your shot, there is a lot of... A lot riding on it, and there's a lot going on in your head that, oh my god, what, what's going to happen if I get mm-hmm. this? What's going to happen if I miss? The only thing I can tell you is mind over matter. If you don't mind it, don't matter. Correct. Because what will happen is you'll, if you get into like your zen state, dude, you, you'll you be fine. Well, I mean, I, when I was doing uh, Tuesday nights, when we had our finals, um, when I got down to the last shot, and I could just feel my heart beating, just... That's all I knew. I just zoned out, and all I saw was the ball, and I just do 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 do. That's all you felt, and <laughs> I can only attribute it to what I'm sure like snipers would feel and like uh, yeah. like shooting their whatever target they have, and it's just you have to time it just right, and ah, oh, it's it's a different feeling. I'll tell you that. Uh, but other than that, nothing much for me other than playing some games, posting some videos. Um, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> uh, we'll post more on that, like he's like uh, Darth Quark said. So, but other than that, uh, Mongo. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Now Mongo has been. You have been on this show you, in a while. So uh, in a while, a long while. So you're gonna have to fill these people's ears uh, with your nonsense of what you've been doing, which what? is not nonsense. It's awesome sauce. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, a lot of stuff has been going on here. Um, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and see you guys later. <laughs> and next time we have this. <laughs> um, I just recently was invited to be a part of the Bastard Sons. 
Uh, the tour that I went on for a little while was just going to be a fill-in deal, but once I played, and th they were literally blown away by Good chemistry I, and everything? Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, man. The energy, I felt like... The, fir the first time we played all together was the after we set up our instruments, like five, six hours before the show we had here at uh, Sanford. We just, yeah, pl all plugged in. It's like, let's try this song. It was like, probably one of the hardest songs we had to do was have so to make sure that everything yeah. was good. Yeah, they want to see what I had to do. Played it. The singer was literally like, you shouldn't even know that song. What? He's blown away. So, He's impressed. Long, long story short, they were really impressed with what I knew and how I performed and... Now I'm part of the Bastard Sons. I'm, I am a Congratulations. Son. There you go, bro. Thank you. Cheers. Yes, yes cheers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, uh, yeah, we had a nice little run there. We had uh, we started off in Sanford. Then we went to Satellite Beach, Sarasota. Then we went back to New Smyrna Beach, Palm Beach Gardens, and Vero Beach. Mm -hmm. So we kind of did like a, like a little, little, west, little West Coast. Yeah, That's little, cool. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good time. Question to you, real quick. Yeah, did did you feel accepted by the crowd? Now, I know the Sanford crowd. That's kind of uh, like a homecoming thing. Yeah, but like at the other shows, when you were obviously on the road, you weren't. It wasn't your home crowd yeah. heroes coming out to see you. Uh, were you accepted by everybody? Was it? You know what I'm saying? That's funny. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the Sanford one because it was great that the Sanford one happened first because it was a home crowd one, and I did like. Got you, even the guy and said, like, oh, you had a lot of the fans coming in. Like, I would almost say, like, maybe one-third to maybe half of the crowd was there, like, chanting Mongo at points. And, like, you awesome. know, yeah, my buddies and, you know, close fans of the Whitey Tidies and all that. Which happened to be fans of the Bastard Sons as well. So, that was great. It, it got... Get, got me all pumped up, you know, all ready to do the other shows. The other shows, it's like, you, like, you meet the people before. They're all excited, like, before the show, but you can tell they have that skepticism. They're like, you know... And then you well, walk out know, the they're, awesome they're, bass you know, solo. They're like, they're like <laughs> you know, there's a big shoes to fill because the, the, the guy that played before me was fucking amazing. Not the guy that filled in after yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy left. That guy obviously couldn't hang, and that's why I'm in now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... <clears throat> No shit, touch it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that, no, it hey, no, you know what? If, if you can't cut it, you can't cut it. It is what it is. But uh, <laughs> after I played, like I literally like signed more shit, got more. Hey, awesome fucking show! Like you guys, like I was. I'm the missing piece of the puzzle, yep. so yeah. to speak. And it's funny. One of my uh, friends, Don Birkin. I uh, was Beer shooting dart, shooting darts one time with one of my buddies. Came home from the army. Yeah, I got a lot of side stories. Sorry, this is how no, I no, talk. No, it's it's all right. <laughs> you have to but, uh, let them fill in, man. He heard that I was auditioning for the uh, Bastard Sons, and he was like, "Dude, you're the perfect <laughs> fucking match for the guy." Oh my god! And I told he him like it wouldn't happen. It didn't happen because <laughs> you know my my work couldn't go. There. I was like, ah. Dude, there's no possible way you could ever jam with them. I mean, you are the guy. I'm like, I don't know, man. We'll see. I think it had his positive vibes going out to the universe, bringing it back to me. I think it's mm -hmm. how it happened. And I cannot wait to go to Colorado or California, wherever he is. I forget which one, because I, I think it was... I think his brother's in Colorado, and he's in California, or vice versa. Don't remember. But either way, yeah, we'd be going to any one of those places and play for him and rock it out because that's gonna be exciting, cool dude. Guy, man. I'm not, I'm very happy for you. Thanks. I mean, that's man. that's a big. I mean, that's a big step for you guys. I'm oh, I'm excited too because, like, it's hard to kind of get along with a lot of egos and bands and like the band like Bastard Sons. They got a lot of uh, they got a lot of notoriety around the um the mm -hmm. U.S. They're talking about going to Europe. At some point, Where? so Europe, Europe, Europa, Europa, Europa. <laughs> Europa. <laughs> no, but that'd be <laughs> awesome to go over there. I'd never travel over the seas to go anywhere and to play that'd and do that. Amazing. That'd be awesome. But these guys, man, they're the coolest guys. We got along like <clears throat> we've been hanging out our lives. Like me and the singer got on like 
you know, singers, you'd think they had this big personality. Well, normally they do. Coolest oh, dude, man. Scott's son. <laughs> the, yeah. the first guy, the, the first thing I said Long, to the singer, oh, I, oh, I whirl up in the singer uh, when we were uh, going to the Sanford show. I just pulled up on time, mind you. Whoa! On time. They were they, <laughs> impressed by that. I go to the singer, I'm <laughs> like... impressed by on time. <laughs> I go to the singer, I'm like... This guy's real. I am into the gangbang. <laughs> and... <laughs> he loved it, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool guys, I am nothing but psyched. And not to mention, Whitey Tidies has been doing pretty good as well. Good. We just had a show last night. I mean, they kind of dates this episode. Yeah, who cares? Kind of whatever. whatever this goes on, it goes on. But what a great turnout in the Sanford show. Lots of love, lots of love. Probably the best uh, show I think we've played so far. Usually when they play for your hometown, it's yeah. pretty good, so... Yeah, we get the love. That's yeah, the that's energy love, from man. the crowd. Now, once you make it big, once you become like like Aerosmith <laughs> or ACDC big, <laughs> yes, right, you'll get the love from everybody because everybody knows you. Everyone's yeah. a fan of you. Everybody wants to hang out with you. That so that's, just, nice. that's just what it is. It'll happen. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. But I definitely feel like if we get at least you're on the right path. I mean, yeah. right now, I mean, it's just a step by step. Oh, thing, and this is a huge... Oh, uh, which reminds me... Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna get to you, girl. <laughs> Anyways, that reminds me that coming up, the Bastard Sons, after this little tour happened, just found out that, of course, we're going to be recording a new CD coming up here. It'll be releasing late year, maybe early next year. Um... <clears throat> We are going to be doing a little cruise tour with 311 and Pepper. Hmm? Hmm. So be good. No, 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 no go ahead. What happened? What, I'm what? Just, no, nothing. It, sorry, he was, was trying to be like Popeye okay. and talk out of the side of his mouth. Like, <laughs> 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 Didn't really work out that well. Anyway. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. 311 and Pepper. How awesome is that? Thought, be? That'd be amazing. If you on fucking... No, listen. If you do this, if you go on this cruise and you're with these guys, if you don't bring me back something signed by 311... I, you might be ousted. Wow. That's, that is, that what is. What do you want me to have it signed? <laughs> Your ass. I don't care. I can't have my, uh, have it signed and then have it tattooed on me. <laughs> yeah. Tattooed. <laughs> tattooed. Tattooed, tattooed on, on my ass cheeks. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you know that they're going to have like some flyer or something. I, I don't care. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. If, if you got me That's something signed, you. I would love to go, but with the newborn and stuff, yeah, it's, I, it's, it's one of those things I, I really can't. I really can't leave Cassie, I, and I really don't want to. I don't want to like have that separation. But anyway, no, if you do that, you, be awesome. dad. it's called being a father. <laughs> this isn't Maury Povich. You should be a father. Exactly you a husband. Yeah. Well, I'm the fiance. Hopefully, fiance. the husband will happen. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but no, that's awesome. So you guys can see we have been busy. busy I hope busy, to God man. you do that cruise. If you don't do that cruise, I'm going to chop I the face off. I think I'm going to do that face. Wow. Uh, as long as I get someone else's face to replace mine, then it's at least a, li- a little bit better looking at mine. Because, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this face. You're good. This face You're does alright. This man. face does alright. <laughs> it does alright. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. I so might right. take your beard, though. No. It's uh, pretty stellar. Which you're going to do now yeah, when you edit the film and have yeah, bond yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't take my beard, man. It's a source of all of this power. Uh, it's it's, yeah. it's like, <laughs> like Samson. Samson, yeah. There you Samson go. Delilah, man. Just away with my beard, bitch. <laughs> now, on that note, <laughs> on that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We're going to try to do a whole bunch more shorter episodes. So that way we don't take up all of your time with all these hour monstrosities that we have. <laughs> so, um, I guess that's it. Anything, any concerns? Anything you want to uh, add? Uh, sponsor? A sponsor, Comic Central. You guys rock. The best comic store in Sanford. Uh, make sure you stop by there and talk to Tyson. The in, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it is, but I'm going with their logo. Their lo- their Personally, only comic book store I go to. I've been to the others, but I always go back to Comic Central because they are the best. They're the best. They're the best. best. No one's ever gonna keep the damn. You're the best. I always say the that. Best. I always roll down my window when I see someone running on the side of the road and <laughs> sing that. <to> <laughs> You're the best. I'm back. Nothing gotta go and let you down. 
<laughs> no, no, you need to have like Eye of the Eye of the Tiger <laughs> queued up. You just play it as loud as you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make that one thing that we just watched out there right here. Boombox, man, just like out of a sunroof, just old eighty style boombox and like eighty style boxes, bam, and just tore it up. Oh, the next one. But other than that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a pretty uh, lively episode. Yes, I it was a very good episode. Uh, great to be back in the saddle, so to speak. Yes. Um, but anyway, mm. what? One quick thing. <laughs> go ahead. Real go quick. Ahead. Sorry, I've been talking a lot. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. You I, haven't been here forever, so this is your time like, to shine. I like to mention after I watched the last episode that. We finally used this uh, intro that we yes, worked together. Yes. He, he drops the beats, uh, Mr. Uh, Ravenous Flamingo dropping the drum beats and a, a little rap intro for you. I hope you guys like it. We'll get a video to it soon. We've been talking about it. It's going to be fucking hilarious. You're going to love it. We it's love it. the so. show. That's basically what it's going to be. Just wanted to mention that. Thank you. All right. All right. So, okay. what? If you want to rap... It up. <laughs> you okay. All right. I'll All right. wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. All day. Oh no! You guys squeeze the time. I didn't wrap it up last time. Anyway, <laughs> says the guy with a new daughter. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you have to learn thanks that. for stopping by the main cave. I'm Darth Quag to my right. Ravenous <laughs> flamingo and Mongolicious. So new. Trishes. Thanks for stopping by. You guys have a good Peace. one. Bye bye. Peace. Love you. Hey, that's a good way to stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky! <laughs>